Hi, welcome to the question on uh, indefinite integration. This was, uh, this is one of the good questions in CBSC, and they come under hearts and difficult questions are uh, with the logical thinking. So one has to be very uh, strong in the approach of solving it. Though there are many methods, I know four or five methods, but I'll be taking the exact and the simpler one. Can you break cos 2x to half angle? So you'll say there are four formulae, but I, I would say concentrate on the denominator. You can get exact uh, approach. That is, we can write cos 2 theta as 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So I'm starting with that solution. And I'm writing uh, root cos 2x as 1 minus 2 sine square x divided by sine x. And I'm also taking sine x within the root. So with that, the question will appear like this. Further, I'll split it up into two parts. And uh, we'll be taking 1 over sine square x as cosecant square x. And in the second part, sine square x upon sine square x will be cancelled. We have i equals 1 by sine square x minus 2. And as we were discussing that this will be cosecant square x minus 2. Now, this is another very important question. There is no hard and fast rule in the approach of indefinite integration. So you need to be searching all the corners. And if you are strong in trigonometry, or you can be, if you're not, you can be gradually, you can be strong for that. You need to practice again and again. Uh, I would recommend to rationalize, that is multiply and divide with the same term. So when we multiply and divide with the same term, we get because when you multiply and divide with the same term, root and root will be linear and the effect will be seen in a root form in the denominator. Now split this into two questions. Take them as i1 minus 2 times of i2 and uh, we'll be solving i1 and i2 separately. So I'll be taking i1 now. Uh, you could see that if you convert cosecant square x of the denominator within the root to cot square form, you can easily put cot x is equal to t. So we apply that, we all apply that logic and uh, confidently write cosecant square x as 1 plus cot square x minus 2 and that is cosecant square x dx divided by cot square x minus 1 and now you can put cot x is equal to t to get minus cosecant square x dx is equal to dt. So this is minus a dt upon under root of t square minus 1 which is a special integration. Applying the special integration which is minus log mod t plus under root of t squared minus 1 plus a c1 which is i1 is equal to minus log mod cot x plus under root of cot square x minus 1 plus c1 because one has to write the answer in x form coming on to i2 if you remember i2 this i2 is 
dx upon uh, cosecant square x minus 2. This is a trick question. If now you write 1 plus cot uh, square x, this thing won't work because you do not have cosecant square x. It's derivative in the numerator. So what you do, uh, you use a trick. You write cosecant square x as 1 by sine square x minus 2. You take the LCM. So it's kind of we going nearer to the original question, but it's not the original question. So with the effect of under root of sine square x dx, this will be sine x, the numerator will be sine x. And can you see that uh, 1 minus 2 sine square x is cos 2x? And we will be converting this cos 2x in sine form. Remember, you can skip this step and you can come directly to this step. And you can see that we can easily be putting cos x is equal to dot put t because we have already substituted t. So I'm putting y and this is uh, minus sine x dx is equal to dy. So that is minus dy upon under root of 2y square minus 1. It's good to take root 2 common so that uh, we can apply the special integration. So applying special integration, we get minus 1 by root 2 log mod y plus under root of y square minus 1 by 2 plus the c2. So the answer is minus 1 by root 2 log mod y was, uh, do you remember, y was cos x. So this is un cos x plus under root of cos square x minus 1 by 2 plus c2. So our final answer is therefore i equals to i1 minus 2 times of i2. So the answer is minus log mod cot x plus under root of cot square x minus 1 minus minus 2 times of y2. So this uh, minus 2 and minus 1 by root 2, which is the answer of the second part, will take you to plus of root 2 log mod uh, cos x plus under root of cos square x minus 1 by 2 plus c. And remember, c is a uh, c1 minus 2 times of c2. This is the answer. If you want more questions and study material, kindly see the links in the description box and feel free to contact us. Thank you very much.